St. Joseph's College Board of Trustees decided to temporarily close starting this May. This comes after the school was having financial trouble. News 18's Alexis Moberger joins us now live and reports how students are feeling. Alexis. Brittany, it's been a tough night here at St. Joe's and an even tougher last couple of days. Students are attending church services right now as a way to help them get through this and to cope. Counseling services were also made available tonight after the meeting. You know, maybe we'll help them with this devastating time. The last class to graduate here will be the seniors this year in May. These were tough words to hear for students and staff at St. Joseph's College. Even though the announcement wasn't what we wanted, we're still going to be there for each other and we're going to we're going to make sure that, you know, we take care of each other in the future. St. Joseph's College is temporarily closing starting in May. The school made the announcement Friday, but it comes after the school had financial problems starting back in November, and it's making students and staff feel helpless. There are people here who live paycheck to paycheck. They're going to be displacing about 200 people. So it's going to be rough. Honestly, I haven't really been able to take the time to process, um, you know, what my next step is going to be. I still have to talk to my family and everything about that. The feeling on campus is all the same, a sense of family, a family who's going to stick together throughout the end of the year when the school closes in May. But it's also a family who's going to stick together even after. This is my second family, and I'm really sad to see that kind of being taken away from me, but at the same time, these bonds are forever. Students weren't able to ask questions during the announcement, so there is still a lot of uncertainty. But students like Clayton Bateman say it's the community at St. Joe that made him strive to become a Puma. I was talking to professors after the announcement and everything, and you'd think that their first reaction would be to worry about their job or worry about what they're going to do next. Um, but they were just, they were worried about what the students were going to do. And students will finish out the year, but with heavy thoughts on their mind. It's always been family, and they have a great tradition within this town. And I just, I had to be around this place. The administration will help students transfer and transition into new schools, but again, the administration didn't answer any questions from faculty or students tonight, but they will on Monday. There's going to be two meetings for questions. The first is at 3 p.m. for faculty and then later at 9 for students. Reporting live in Rensselaer, Alexis Moberger, News 18.